So chasing leads for premium clients really doesn't work. And I bet all of you have learned somewhere in the past that when you're looking to attract those sorts of people in, if you start to have to chase them, one, it's a red flag that they're the wrong sort of person or they're too early in their journey. And two, you actually push them away rather than attract them in. Sometimes, yes, sometimes you need to be spinning plates for other people, but I'd be willing to bet that a lot of you out there who are executive coaches and senior consultants, you are the sort of person that wants to attract others who like you if you can identify a challenge that you see somebody else or a limitation somebody else can help you remove you jump on the bandwagon and you just get it done right and that's the sort of people that we should be looking to attract in our content through our marketing through our sales so for me if you're looking to do that then you need to position yourself as an expert in your audience's eyes and as I've mentioned in a previous post, a lot of people will already be doing that with long form articles and white papers and lead magnets potentially, although I see less of those these days um, to what we used to. I think the value that you can add to those audiences are positioning yourself as a real expert in their eyes by talking in a real way, talking about the emotions that they're feeling. Leave them in no doubt in their mind that you 100% completely understand the situation that they're in, the problems that they have, how they feel when they go home at night because of those problems, challenges, limitations, mindsets, all of the things that you can fix or help them to fix themselves. How do they feel by that? Because I guarantee that they probably don't even identify that they're a problem, that they're causing them any sort of challenges, any sort of physical ailments, any mental ailments, right? Like we all accept what we're going through generally as being normal, as being what everybody goes through, but you're the sort of people that can help them fix those problems. You know, if you're a consultant and you're selling in transformational strategies, what are the symptoms the business is feeling? What are the indicators? What are the, you know, what are people complaining about that they are a, a leading indicator that you need a particular metric focusing on a process fixing, you know, all those sorts of things. And then talk about that via video. You can come there far more in a short video like this, two, three, four minutes long than you can in a long article in a much more genuine way. And guess what? If you really want to produce that article, you've got four minutes of you talking about it to create all your main points from, so you can expand on that and link to it in your video. More importantly, you can break that video down into subtopics and create content for weeks. You can, you know, create a, a long form article per subtopic rather than on the whole theme and trying to cram everything into one. It gives you lots of opportunities to further discuss, refine the topics that you're interested in helping your audience with and showcasing how you specifically, you can help them solve those problems without costing them a penny. The key is they don't have you. And a lot of people are worried about giving away that value, but they don't have you. They, they need you. And a lot of these people won't want to try and sit and figure these things out themselves, or they'll know they're not capable of figuring them out else that have already figured it out by now. And they'll want to bring you in because they see you as the authority, the expert. So trust me, if you want to create that sort of connection with your audience, you need to be creating video 2024. 20, 2025 is on the door. By the time this gets released, it'll probably already be here, right? Don't mess about anymore. You need to have video in your marketing strategy for the coming year if you want to be attracting premium clients.